So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can turn your website from this not secure to this secure website for free in AWS. This video is a continue from the previous video I made on how you can deploy your Node.js app to Elastic Beanstalk in AWS from GitHub for free. So if you haven't watched this video, go ahead and watch this video first and then come back to this video. I'll have the previous video in the description so you can check it out. So before we start, click the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. So first of all, head on on the Certificate Manager. You can find this page by going to the search bar and typing Certificate. And under Services, you should see Certificate Manager. So go to Provision Certificates and click Get Started. And click Request a Certificate. And now you want to put your domain name. But you have two options. Either, op uh, either you have to put a subdomain like this one here site.example.com or you can have your users to, to don't have to type a subdomain just your domain name and .com or whatever you have in our case we will do this one but in this case you also enable the www.yourdomain.com so that's pretty cool. So I'll replace example with now your guest, our domain name, and click next. Now we will click on DNS validation, but if you want to do email validation, you require to have a domain email, and it's really simple. They just send you a verification email. You just click a link, they will send you. And that's pretty much all it. So in this case though, we will click DNS validation and click review and confirm and request. Now you go to your DNS management of your domain name. I'm using GoDaddy, but all of them are kind of similar. All you have to do is add a CNAME record, so CNAME, now go back to the certificate manager and copy paste this one, but you will have to do some changes, so copy paste it and remove everything from the first dot, like so, so we have the ID, and now copy paste this one too, but just delete the dot in the end, and click save. So go back to your certificate manager and after 30 minutes or an hour max you should be able to see status valid. But in my case I'll have to wait those minutes and I'll see you back when it's valid. So as you see we successfully got the status to be issued so that's great. Now let's move on to the domain setup and certificate. So now let's go back to our Elastic Beanstalk environment. So under services you should define Elastic Beanstalk by searching Elastic or Elastic Beanstalk. So just click on it. So I'll click on your environment. and go to environment. So what we need to do is now copy paste our Elastic Beanstalk domain. Go back to our GoDaddy domain, click DNS records. So now before we add a new record pointing to our domain, if you have any other records with the name of your subdomain, for example, our is right now www, go ahead and delete them. Now click add a new record, it will be a C name and www and our domain, but remove the slash from the end and HTTP here. Like so. So, and click save.
Now let's go back to our environment in Elastic Beanstalk. Go to configuration. And go to load balancer and click edit. Now scroll up and add a new listener in port 4333, sorry, no sorry, 443, port 443 and click protocol HTTPS and choose a certificate. So our certificate is this one that we made before and click add and now click apply at the end so now we are waiting for Elastic Business Talk to save the settings that we made so our health now is ok that's great so if we open a new tab and we visit our domain it says not secure but if we go to HTTPS we see that we have a connection secured so our certificate is valid I really hope this video helped you even a little bit let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video and let me know what we shall do next see you in the next video bye bye